lots of games here. I start digging through my fourth gen games to figure out how I'm gonna pull this off, how am I gonna hunt this. Um, and I only have three games. You guys like really understand it a lot better than me, but still. Um, this seriously is amazing, and I can already tell you, yeah, my Pokemon Platinum copy. My Pokemon Platinum copy. My Pokemon Platinum copy. The reason I didn't use my Platinum copy is because mine, if you shake it like this, you can even hear the stuff inside shaking around. And if you try and plug it into your DS and take it out, plug it in, take it out, it doesn't work. And it works very, very rarely. In fact, I have it. I have a special DS. I'm not seeing it at the moment on me, but I have a special Nintendo DS that has it stuck in there, and I taped over the back of it because I don't want anyone ever taking it out. Because if it comes out, it's probably not ever going to work again. And I still shiny hunt in that, so it's a serious issue. I couldn't use my own. I have uh, for fourth gen. I have um my uh, Q Charm, my recently Q Charmed Pokemon Platinum, which is obviously not being reset again, because it took me weeks to get the correct numbers. Um, my obviously not being reset working Pokemon Heart Gold Q Charm, which I was still making episodes for, and then my sister's um, Soul Silver game, which, had I not started at that point, I'm not sure if I gotta go back and check if I did this before or after, but I was going for the legendary Kanto Birds um, in her game, and I think I just either got Zapdos or Moltres. I don't. I think I had Moltres. And I was going for Zapdos in that time. I don't remember exactly where it was, but that one was set up for hunting the birds. And if you guys have played those games, it takes forever to get to that point. So I was like, I really can't. Um, because those are the last two hunts I needed to do in that game. I was like, I, I, I should not reset this. For one, it's my sister's game, and she, uh, she actually kind of wanted it back when I was done. Or, um, and she just said, alright, fine, I don't really care about those two Pokemon, you can shiny hunt them or whatever you want. So, I was like, great, I just realized I have th only three games I can hunt this thing in, and none of them can actually reset. Because the way this works, um, once the code is sent over to the other game, you basically have to go to the Pokemart and accept the egg from, uh, this is dude who just works there or something like that. You know, like, events in modern games, it's kind of like that. Um, the problem is, as soon as you take it, the step counter is going. And Manaphy's only got, like... 2700 steps or so and that thing cracks open so basically you run to the pokemon center and you trade it to um another game well i actually first i mean you save and you can try and hatch it in that game once you run to the pokemon center save then run out try and hatch it not shiny manaphy you trade it to another game the as it's an egg because you reset back to when you walk to the pokemon center trade it to another game and then in that other game um you because the shininess of that Manaphy is determined based on the trainer ID and secret ID. And um, it pretty much, you trade it from one to another and you try and have like at least two games. So you can reset one, trade it to another, reset the other one as you're playing up to the point where you can even trade and hatch the Manaphy. Nope, didn't shine, send it to the other one, do the same thing. And every, every single time you do this, one more step at least, I think one more step, it might be two. Um, is taken, because I know you take one step out of the trading center and one back up, but you might be able to turn around without a step. I don't remember how it worked. Um, but regardless, the step counter inevitably goes down, and you can fail this hunt, where you basically run out of steps, you tried as many as you could, and you just can't get it. So um, all of this, I'm looking into it like, God, I am so screwed. I, am so, I don't know what I'm supposed to do for this. So... Um, with absolutely no time left for the upcoming series for Platinum, and the depressing no time left for Mike, I decided, I was like, okay, I feel like the only way to give this kid, this, this terminally ill kid, any justice, or like, I don't know, like, conclusion catharsis for this, I don't even know. Um, because I, I heard from his parents how much this meant to them. Uh, him. I'm sorry. Um, so I thought, you know, I'm gonna try doing something I've never done before, just for him. And, uh, at that point, what I first did is I fail, I'm sorry, I filmed, um, checking the egg in my three games. And, of course, it didn't shine. So, okay. I will suck your Japanese oh, yeah, wang! <laughs> <laughs>